Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bringing things inside the video games into the real world. This week, we're bringing the Sentinel in from Apex Legends. Let's get started. I'll show you how we made it. So, just to show you my collection of failed prints. So, this was the most recent one. This was uh, another attempt of this guy. This is just the kind of trigger area. And these two were attempts at this guy. Finally, it came out right. So, um, other than that, I have a few minor issues. I just, I'm trying to remove all the support material out of this guy. And uh, the barrel's a little bit warped, but uh, it's going to be hidden by the flash hider anyway, so I don't think it should be a problem. Needless to say, I'm having 3D printer issues. <laughs> so, working on those. So I printed the star. Unfortunately, I forgot to print it as one piece, so it came out as two. Then we have the thumb hole, which will go something like that. This piece here. Obviously, all the support material has not been removed yet. Then we have the grip. It even says easy grip. And then the barrel and the barrel guard. And then there's a few more pieces yet to go. But uh, all in all, it's starting to look pretty good. 
All right, so we have all the support material removed off of this guy. Uh, we're going to start the assembly. So um, this is the uh, easy grip. Here is the uh, first part of the frame. Might have to do a little bit of sanding just to fit and finish it in there. And this Got it all fit together. Got a little bit of sanding on the inside here just so it fit nice and snug. There we go. And that goes together like that. Just gonna put a little bit of epoxy in there, fit it together. Here's the epoxy. for five minutes. I'll fix this for the print for you, for anybody who wants to make their own, but this is the uh, buttstock of the uh, Sentinel. Unfortunately I forgot to uh, mirror it and I printed it as two halves, but I'll make it one whole. Uh, you'll be printing this in one piece most likely, but I printed it as two, so I have to glue it together. pieces on there. Here's all the barrel sections. These two sections, these two sections fit together here. This is the muzzle flash. This is the piece for here. It'll set up on top there. And a barrel shroud and the little internal barrel thingy. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna epoxy this all together here. So let's take it all apart first. This guy first, the stock. And the little trigger assembly here. And so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna load it all up with uh, epoxy, stick it all together, and clamp it. So let's get to that. Oh, I almost forgot one piece. Rifle comes with lots of options for additions, but we're gonna put the open sights on there. What we're gonna do, give the, the, all these pieces a coat of paint, and uh, then start the final assembly and some of the detail work. Let's get going. Sentinel. And to paint it, 
we're going to use tropical blue and Copenhagen blue. So we'll use these two guys. Grab our handy dandy paintbrush and get at it. Okay, so we got the base coat on the Sentinel. I'm going to do a little bit of brush work just to uh, give it a few highlights and some wear and tear on it. And for that, I'm going to use a little bit of Silver Morning. Dry brush that on, maybe a few white spots. So the key to dry brushing anything really is just to uh, have nothing on the brush so the goal is really to, to kind of get some on there get most of it off and just start painting so sentinel has the ability to charge now in case you didn't know, the Sentinel charging ability allows it to do more damage. Now opposed to just doing regular damage to shield and health, it only does damage to shield. Now it might sound bad, but if you're taking on somebody with a Evo shield, or a uh, purple or a blue, uh, you can knock that shield out with one good shot of the Sentinel and then take out the rest with, uh, with regular damage of any gun or continuing damage with the Sentinel. But one shot, of a, one shot of a charged Sentinel takes out their entire shield. Doesn't matter which kind of shield it is. We got some of the detail work onto the stock of the Sentinel. Next I'm going to attach the sight up top here, the cheek rest right here, and install the, I guess, inner barrel, I'll call it. And we're going to attach the uh, muzzle flash on the end of the muzzle. Throw the heat shield on. Something like that. And uh, once that's all into the rest of the gun, we'll be done. I'll give it a coat of clear. So let's disassemble it. And now for the final assembly, we're going to attach the centerpiece to the barrel and the guard. So, so the way I designed the cut on the barrel here, just so you know, um, so I, I cut the barrel in half, but the way it works is the guard fits right over that and hides that so you don't really even need to do much about it um, short of attach it and glue it so obviously when you're assembling everything you want to make sure that the muzzle is uh, flat and the uh, guard is in line with that you assemble it like so and then that goes Yeah. There, like that. So, 
that rests on there, that's in there, and then you just glue it all together and you have your assembled Sentinel. Let's us finish gluing it, give it some clear coat, and I'll show you the finished product. out of a lot of different pieces that go together. There's a lot of paint schemes that you can definitely paint this as. I just painted this as uh, my default from straight out of the factory. Um, I did have to do a little bit of filing on some of the pieces just to fit them together a little bit better uh, before I glue them. But other than that, there's a few uh, minor adjustments I'll be making before I post the uh, 3D files uh, for you guys to uh, take a look at and use yourselves if you want. But uh, all in all, what do you think? Do you like this build? Do you want more from Apex? Or do you want something else? Let me know in the comments down below. We're continuing with our cosplay segment this week. Let's take a look at this week's cosplayer. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down there below. Or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmithing Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.